rise to introduce a bill for an act to amend the Belizean Nationality Act, Chapter 161 of the Substantive Laws of Belize, Revised Edition 2000-2003, in relation to citizenship by registration and to provide for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. The bill has the recommendation of the Cabinet, and if you would allow me a few words in explanation. What we're trying to do here, Mr. Speaker, is to provide for streamlining and enhancing the requirements to obtain Belizean nationality by registration, including the provision that henceforth all applicants for nationality must be in possession of a permanent residency permit, declaring their status as a permanent resident for five years of continuous residency immediately prior to applying to be registered as a citizen of Belize. The amendments provide for increased penalties for violation of the provisions of the Act, and these increased penalties would include a fine of $50,000 and a mandatory term of imprisonment from 5 to 15 years, I believe is the range that we've set out in the bill. Now, there's one aspect of the bill to which I must speak and I want to do so very soberly and clearly. As we had first drafted the bill, it was proposing that the establishment of a nationality scrutinizing committee would be put in place and that would have the responsibility of vetting all applications for citizenship by registration and advising the minister on qualification and suitability of persons for registration, having looked at the files. We originally proposed that this nationality scrutinizing committee should consist of one member from the Belize Council of Churches, one member from the Belize Chamber of Commerce and Industry, one member from the NTUCB, the CEO of the Ministry of, Edu of Immigration, the CEO of the Ministry of Human Development, the CEO of the Ministry of National Security, a representative from the Solicitor General's Department, and the Director of Immigration and Nationality. 